Sleepy so forgot. This came for you while you was away. What the hell is this? It's from a lawyer's office. What could it be, man? Uh, oh, damn. What is it? Do you remember my customer, Mitch from Indigo? Oh, the guy you used to take care of. I thought he moved back with his family. Yeah, he did when his um illness started getting worse. I guess he finally got the best of him. He passed away this summer. Oh, wow. Sorry to hear that. Damn. Well, I mean, it says here he passed away in his sleep, so I guess he went away peacefully. Damn. It was one of the kinder people here in the city. <sighs> I remember when he invited us to his house one night and he had us dying the entire time. Yeah, even with his old age, he was a life of the party. I already knew every time he came into Indigo, it was going to be a long night. <laughs> but why is his lawyers contacting you about his death? Uh, apparently, I was listed in his will as a beneficiary. A beneficiary to what? His artwork? Artwork. Yeah, he was a collector. I didn't realize it was this extensive, though. It's saying here the last appraisal was at almost close to a million dollars. A million dollars? Are you serious? That's ridiculous. Yeah, exactly. So, what are you supposed to do with it? I have no clue. He's just saying here I need to contact his nephew, Alexander. He was listed with me on the, the will. <clears throat> well, make sure you do because that letter is quite old. Yeah, I take care of it today. But first, and make sure home is good. <laughs> home is good, considering Jarrell. No, nope. I, no. I know, I know. You, I'm not going to bring it. I'm not going to talk about it. I, I trust your judgment. I hear a finale somewhere in there. But moving on. So you remember. The guy Julian that got shot in DC at the party. Yeah, that's that's crazy. I I can't believe somebody would do that. They really wanted your father dead. Yeah, he's lucky. <sighs> so what about Julian? Well, he's going to be getting out of the hospital soon, and since he doesn't have anywhere to stay, I was thinking. He could stay here while he recovers. What? Shabra, have you lost your fucking mind? Why would you let some stranger who you barely even know stay here? And why do you care that he got shot? Tell your company, put him up somewhere. Because it's my fault. What do you mean? How is it your fault? <sighs> because I brought him to this fucking family. He was perfectly fine where he was and now this all because I wanted to bring a family together <laughs> I'm lost so uh, how was Julian a part of the family Julian is uh, he's a Davenport come again he's Fallon's son but I thought Raven was her they're, they're twins so so, the mom had both of the kids and didn't say anything? I, I can't believe somebody would do that. Well, I guess Julian was fortunate enough to go with his father, but he passed away a couple of years ago and now he doesn't have any family. So, how did Julian react to knowing that he's a Davenport? He doesn't know. Are you kidding me? Why haven't you told him, Jabril? Because I was trying to figure him out first. After the whole Raven thing, I didn't want that happening again. So I told my parents and I got him a job at the DC division. So Fallon doesn't even know either. Oh my gosh, Jabril, that's not even right. Y'all need to start with all these secrets and lies. What was the therapy for? Look, I know, trust me. Look, Julian can stay here, but 
You need to fix this before it all blows up in your face. I know, I just have to figure out how to do it. Well, whatever you decide, I got your back. Help you? What the fuck are you doing at my doorstep? Um, sorry, I was. Excuse me. What? Can I speak. Can I help you? You're in my fucking house. You. Uh... Who sent you? Who sent you? <laughs> no, I'm. I'm your son. What? Where did you get my picture? Wrong person. I ain't got a kid. on me but I am not your mother I'm not your mother where the hell did you get my picture from you're lying excuse me look I know a lie when it's standing right in my face I met plenty of them look you're out of your mind I'm telling you for the last time I don't have a kid you need to go back to whomever you paid and get your money back and tell them they're wrong I don't have a kid that somebody at Beacon House might recognize me or you Mm. Well, I was a black bastard child, it was too much for your white world to handle or something? You know, you really sound like one of those conspiracy theory morons. Because I'm white! And you're obviously black! And obviously somebody you don't give a fuck about me then or now. What? Can't face reality? Can't face the fucking truth? Look, nobody, and I mean nobody, speaks to me like that. Do you understand me? Aren't you at least gonna ask for my name? Your name? No! Don't you think if I had a kid, I would know that I pushed him out of my vagina? And you should! No. I'm telling you this. And I'm not gonna fucking repeat myself. I'm not your mother, alright? I'm not giving up that easy. I've waited my entire <laughs> fucking life for this. You owe me. Owe you? I. Oh, you? I don't owe anybody anything, okay? Where I come from, people tend to owe me. And I don't my owe life would be shit. different if you didn't give up on me. I don't owe you anything, all right? Save the sob story for your real mother, because I'm not her. She's dead. She's dead. Well, that's too bad. I'm sure she was a nice woman. More of a woman that you could ever be. You came here for compassion, thinking I was gonna gain something out of this. But you know what? I obviously wasted my fucking time, right? Right? Time. Time's up. Okay? If I had a kid, if I had a kid, he's not gonna be a blabbering punk like you. Get the fuck out and good luck on your journey, alright? I don't ever wanna see you again. I owe you nothing. I'm not your mother. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm done. Goodbye. Oh my God. How did he find me?
Is everything okay? I don't think these cards you gave me are working. I mean, I give up. Don't push yourself. Your memory will come back. It's just that I keep staring at these cards, hoping, wishing something that would just jump out at me, but I keep drawing blanks. In your time. So how long does it take for someone to get their memory back? Every case is different. You were in a coma for a very long time. We monitored you for any brain swelling and intracranial pressure. It was touch and go for a while. You mean to tell me no one has came to look for me? I'm afraid not. I'm just tired of being confined to this room. I mean, when will I be able to fully walk again? We're starting your physical therapy next week. But for now, I want you to save your strength because you'll need it. <laughs> I mean, I'm just tired of these four walls. It's frustrating. I do the same thing every day. I look out the window all day, just imagining, you know, that my life is out there waiting for me to find it. I mean, I know my family's out there looking for me. You will soon have your chance, I promise you. But you can push yourself. Your recovery is at stake. You suffered a major head injury. But Doc, you still haven't told me where am I at? You are in a rehabilitation clinic with the best doctor and physical therapist anyone can have. <laughs> but where is here? I mean, I just look out the window and it's just trees everywhere. I just told you. But... It's time for your medicine. But you still Take have... this and get some rest. I'll come back to check up on you. Hello. You look really nice. I see you worked on your appearance. You look a lot more professional. Thanks. But you know, Vicky, she's really strong on my appearance. <laughs> I know the mob queen of 2016 had a handbook of rules on how you should dress, but whatever. Makes sense. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't call you down here for this. Um, I missed you. And I just wanted to check on you to make sure that you were okay. I'm good. I'm good. I mean, I've been learning more and more about the business. Gaining respect around here has definitely been a lot different since, you know, Victor's gone and all. <laughs> you think? You don't have to deal with Satan in the flesh walking around causing murder and mayhem in the streets. I miss you. I missed you so much, Mason. You don't even know. I said I missed you, too. It's been a rough last six months. With the salon catching on fire, and now I'm, I own my own business. Brandon got married. I had some family come stay with me for a while, and we just found out Brandon's mom died, amongst a bunch of other stuff. Wow. That is a lot. So listen, um, let me ask you something. Are you seeing anyone? Why? So you are. Uh, actually, I'm not, but why? Are you dating someone? How could I? I still love you. Look, what I said stands before. I can't be dealing with you in this profession that you're in. Listen, Mason, it's... It's not, it's not what it seems exactly. Look, my offer still stands. If you want to be friends, 
and nothing more, you can take my offer. If not, then hey, I don't know what to tell you. I guess I'll be fine. But I ain't giving up. Good, Al Pacino. You could pay for my second cup of coffee. I'm gonna need it. I got a long morning ahead of me. Surprise. Okay, why am I still visiting Jarrell in that jail? Hello to you too. Well, I thought we already discussed this. It's because he has to sit there until his court date. His PD cannot get him out until then. Okay, that's problem number one. Why haven't you hired him an attorney? Saying as though you won't bail him out. Because it's not my problem. If you want him out, get him out. I can't believe you're just not going to do anything. You know, you have all the resources he needs and you're just gonna let him sit there? Jarrell is a grown man and he has made grown man decisions. Decisions that he has to do with. I can't believe you. He needs you and you're just gonna turn your back on him. This is all his fault. Okay, you know he's hard headed. Help him. I am not going to enable him anymore. We'll let him learn a lesson. Lesson? Okay, this isn't some game. <sighs> Okay, prison is not some little school field trip, and there's no place for my child. I told myself I wasn't going to be stressed about this situation. Yeah, because you're selfish. You're just out for your damn self. Typical Davenport. Excuse me? This has nothing to do with that. This has to do with Jarrell not listening and paying attention. All he had to do was stay away from her. Now, look what happens, but no. Everything you tell Jarrell goes in one ear and right out the other. Okay, so what he got into a little trouble. It happens, he's young. He doesn't listen. And she's not even trying to help get him out. Okay, who the fuck is Raven anyway? Some con artist that got his naive ass. Well, I need to talk with her and see what really happened. No, Jarrell needs to tell the truth. That's what I'm trying to tell you. He hasn't come clean yet because he doesn't want any help. He needs to come clean to you at least because you're here to argue with me about him. It's not working. I just want him to get out. Well, if you think talking to her will help, I will try to set it up and see if she'll come meet you. Thank you for being of some help. Yeah, that's all I'm here for. Oh, my God. You know what? I know my child, okay? And he's not gonna be mixed up in some shit for nothing. Well, hopefully you can get some answers from Rika. Can't wait to meet her. I'll let you know if she's going to go. Make yourself at home. I have places to be. your neck for knocking on Well, I'm not Kiko, but I don't think I'm gonna let you ring anyone's neck just for knocking on the door. Oh my God! <laughs> no! Ah! What are you doing here? I thought you were coming to the end of the month. Well, I wasn't big bro, but I decided to kick it here early and hang out with my brother. Kick it with your big brother? <laughs> um, crash here. Young lady, you are a senior in college. You should be getting ready to graduate in June. What do you mean you're crashing here? Well, I took a semester off. A semester off? Yes, and before you say anything, mommy and daddy already know. I needed to find myself. And plus, I needed to see my favorite sibling. Favorite sibling? Find yourself? You wasted four years of college to get to the end and decide that you want to find yourself. Yes. Impress me. How much money do you want? I don't need any money. Actually, I have my own money saved up for this summer. Oh! Well, in that case, sure. You can crash here. Ah, besides, this house is becoming the new Hawkins Haven. I just got rid of Troy, and now you show up. How was that? How was Troy this summer? Well, let's just say we have a lot more in common than I thought. Bye!
But I don't want to talk about that. How was your summer? It was great. I did some freelance work for some local advertising companies. Freelance work? Can I have something to drink? Yeah, freelance work. So tell me more about this freelance work. What exactly were you doing? Modeling. Modeling? Yes, and that's another reason why I'm here. I want to be a model. And what better way to get started in the industry than to have you manage me? A what? A model? Uh, absolutely not. What? You won't manage me? Absolutely not. You are not being a model. You can forget it, young lady. Not my sister. You're so sweet and pure and smart and... Oh, I would hate for the industry just to eat you up and you become some superficial asshole. Really, Mason? Yes, really. Really? You were in the industry for years and now all of a sudden you moved down here and it's not good enough for anyone? Listen, mama, just like you moved away to school, you got this little Spanish accent. No, you're not being a model. Mason, are you going to listen to me? No, but you're going to listen to me. We're going to my studio. So come on, I can show you around. But you're not being a model. Hey, we can talk about it along the way. <sighs> I'm not talking about this. My mind is made up and it's final. I like this hair color, by the way. Thank you. It's fabulous, isn't it? Yeah. You and Kiko will get along just great. Yes, I'll call you as soon as I get there. Uh, I'll call you back. Uh, hey, uh -huh. um, which way is it? Um, did it start yet? Hmm, did it start yet? You're about two hours late. Where were you? Uh, how did he look? Um, did he just say... <laughs> It got postponed to next month. The judge took my deposition. My attorney did a fantastic job. Basically, I just explained what I saw when I found Clint. I spoke of, of Rob's character. But you would have known that if you were there. Look, I appreciate what the fuck you're doing. Really? But I don't have time for your mouth. I would have been here, don't you think? I got caught up. <laughs> caught up? This shit is so funny to me because while he's in there taking a rap for you, you were too busy doing everything else except being here on time for him. You think I didn't know? I know everything. And the least thing you could have done was to be here for Wait, him. Shut up. You know what the fuck I've been to today? I just met my biological mom for the first time. Okay. Right. So the last thing I need to hear, especially from somebody like you, is how I made a mistake. Okay, Derek. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry that you just met your mother, but I am sorry. Well, what happened? I don't want to talk about it. You don't or you won't? Both. I mean, it's a lot. It's too much. I'm sure you've heard that I've met my daughter earlier this year, so I can pretty much relate. Oh, I'm aware. Raven, I considered <laughs> her a friend. Go figure. So you know Raven. So that means you also know that our reunion wasn't on the best terms. Oh, no, I know. <laughs> yeah, but on my own end, I just, I expected more and I just got nothing. I Derek. guess, what can I expect from somebody who didn't plan me or didn't want me in the first place? I'm sure that wasn't the case, okay, Derek? You know, as a mother, I'm sure she looked for you. I'm sure she wanted to have a bond with you. But some things that happen in our lives are just out of our control. I'm sure of it. Well, I have to get out of here. Again, I... Appreciate what you did for Rob. Hopefully he calls me. Okay, Derek, listen, take care of yourself. And the best thing that you can do for Rob is stay focused and get him home safe. Since you got all this advice to give me, I guess I have some for you. What is it, Derek? What is it? Call Raven. Bro. Hi, Alexander. <sighs> nice to meet you. Uh, truly, the pleasure's all mine. When I found out that you were listening to the will, I couldn't believe it. 
Of all the people, my uncle just so happens to know Jabril Anderson Davenport. You speak of me like I'm some urban legend or something. Trust me, I'm nothing spectacular. Jabril, your modesty is admirable. But the way the Wall Street Journal reported you, what was it? Prodigy CEO makes biggest comeback and the way that you turned Davenport around. No offense, but it was taken pretty bad. <laughs> None taken, but that, that was a team effort. Clearly the team that you put in place. Or maybe just crack the whip a little on the old team. Okay, okay. Enough about Davenport. Let's talk about this will. First of all, I didn't know your uncle was such a huge art collector and listed as one of the top in the world. He's been on that list forever. I remember one time when I was younger, I went with him to Christie's. It was wall, wall packed, but painting after painting he'd been on. I think we left four pieces that day. I didn't have a clue what any of it was. I just remember a few hundred thousand this and a few million that. One of my aunts mentioned he held one of four existing screen paintings. Wow, I would definitely like to get a hold of one of those pieces, but that hobby is just very expensive. I mean, everybody likes what they like, but hold on for a second. Everybody likes what they like, but I mean, it just seems a bit excessive. My uncle's the main reason I went into art dealing. Well, I mean, that would explain, I mean, you being as listed one of the co-caretakers. Not everybody was too happy with that. My dad was hysterical when he found out that we were listed. Well, I mean, I can understand me. I mean, hell, I was surprised myself, but why? What about you? That's a long story for another time. I get it. I mean, we all have a pass. <laughs> so, since you're listed in the will, I can't make any plans until you sign off. All right. So, what'd you have in mind? Well, the will states that we should auction off the paintings and proceeds go to charity. Wow, that's that's a lot of giving. Um, and how much were they worth presently? Well, I have an appraiser coming down from New York in the next day or so. She was listening to Will as the only one to touch them. She's like a hundred years old. I kid you not. <laughs> well, I'm sure your uncle must have really trusted her, so we can just comply with his wishes and his absence. So, how can I help? Any capacity I'm here? Well, um, charities and foundations. Do you know of any reputable organizations? I wouldn't know where to start. Uh, yeah, I could think of a few. Well, I mean, just off the top of my head, maybe we should do like some art foundations and also maybe some museums for donations. Probably could, we could probably start there. All right, great. That's a great place to start. Well, yeah, so I'll get some lists and I'll send it over to you. Uh, also, would you happen to know any venues for the auction to be held? I just got to town and there's not much here. <laughs> I get it. You just have to know where to look. Um, yeah, I could think. I could call around to a few places. Great partners. Partners. All right. So, how about we get you a welcome to Easton, Jordan? I'm all for it. Let's go. Um, would you happen to know any apartment listings in the area? I'm gonna be here for a while. This uh, process is a little long, so I don't want to give all my money to the hotels. Um, personally, I don't. But my husband does work for a real estate company, so I can run it past him and see if he can help you. Thank you. That'd be great. All right, then we'll, we'll set that up. Let's go catch this happy hour. We the left. <laughs> great session today. Tomorrow we'll focus on strengthening your posture with some core exercises. How are your migraines going? Um, they, they come and go. Try not to force yourself to remember things. It'll be a slow process. <sighs> Actually, can you let me go for a second? I just want to see if I can take a couple of steps on myself. I'm not too sure that's a good idea. You've only been in physical therapy for a few weeks. <laughs> look at me. Does it look like I can go that far? Please. Okay. Just this once. Derek, have a seat. Tell me what happened. Sorry for calling you last minute. I just really need to talk to you. Did somebody hurt you? 
No. Was to see my birth mom. Yeah. And instead of disowning me behind my back, she did it in my face. Did she actually say I'm disowning you? She didn't need to. I mean, in so many words, what mother sits there with like hate in her eyes, denying everything I had to say. Are you sure what you're perceiving is denial and it's not just fear? Fear of what? Her, her black son? Her deep darkest secret? I'm sorry, I don't understand what you're implying. Mom is white. So you think because of your race, she's unable to claim you as her son? I think that has everything to do with it. I mean, again, what mother sits there denying everything while I'm pouring out my heart to her? Maybe it's much deeper than that. You have to give her the benefit of the doubt. I work with clients who deal with adoptions and sometimes the cases are closed on purpose to protect the parents. I just think maybe I was just wishing she made sense of everything. I don't know. For instance? The root of my choices, pathology, not finished the school, I mean, the men in my life, Rob, Jabril O'Neill. The answers you seek lie within you. You have to dig deep and ask yourself the tough questions. Maybe you can talk it out with your friend, um, I'm sorry, I can't think of her name right now. Oh, Raven. <laughs> yeah. The friend I want to speak to is not here though. Passed away. My best friend, Ashton. What would he say to you if he were here? <laughs> Thinking about a happy time? Yeah. Many good times. He stuff to me flaws and all. I just hope you know how much I appreciated our friendship. I'm sure he did. I wasn't always a good friend to him though. But he supported me. He even supported me even when I didn't feel like I had enough fighting myself. As long as you are drawing breath, you have fight left in you. No. Well, hopefully he's smiling from above, knowing that I think about him every day. When people die, their bodies leave us, their spirits stay here. I'm sure Ashton is with you always. I hope so. Next time we meet, I want to work on you finding your inner strength and using it efficiently. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, this would make me feel better. I appreciate it. I'm so sorry. There's nothing to be sorry about. I'm getting there in time, Mr. Doe. Can you just sit me down? Something wrong? I just hate when you call me Mr. Doe. I mean, I have a history. I have a family. And I just feel like when you say that, it reminds me that I'm nobody. You are somebody. And you matter in this world. How about you give yourself a name in the meantime? Until your memory comes back. Do you like the name Michael? No, that's... Too basic. How about Thomas? And do I like a Thomas? Brian? Nah, it sounds... Sounds corny. I mean, I do like Braxton, though. 
That's different. Uh, how did you come up with that? Um, I listen to Tony Braxton when I go to sleep. Do you have a favorite song, Braxton? Uh, I'm breaking my heart. And her voice is so beautiful. Yeah, very sad. Yeah. I guess that's why I can relate to it. <laughs> Today marks a new beginning. You never know what the future holds. He's very prideful. And Jarrell did not have anything handed to him. Well, neither did I. Because I had to hustle for everything in my life. No thanks to the Davenports. I mean, shit. My mother still barely talks to me after she found out I was her daughter. And that trifling ass Tessa, some grandmother. Now look, them Davenports owe plenty. And I want what's mine's. Hmm. Wow. I didn't know you had so much hatred towards that family. I just don't like the situation that they put me in, you know? I see. You know, I've had a lot of um, 
bad situations with that family. Hmm. You don't say. <sighs> oh, I didn't know it was a client. It wasn't scheduled. Did that mean it's not a client? Actually, rudeness. This is my younger sister, Melanie. Melanie, Kiko, Kiko, and Melanie. Okay. This is the orphan I was telling you about that I rescued from the rainforest. Orphan? Really? Yes. Macy, don't start your shit. It's a pleasure to meet you. Malaysia. Hi, it's Melanie. Melanie. That's what I said. Anywho, are you visiting for one day or are you staying? God don't like ugly. She's actually going to be staying for a while. Ooh, so you must be close to Troy. Yeah, he's my only nephew, so we're as close as we can be. I love him. I don't like him. Kiko. You know what they say? Birds that flock together? Kiko, it's what they say is birds. Uh, who cares? Just stop. I mean, I'm just, what? I'm just saying, I need to know who's coming into the bow circle because, you know, it's very tight. Kiko, just as tight as the feet of them shoes. The audacity of you. Stop being rude. You're lucky I put you in our circle. This is my sister. Watch your mouth. Wait, Mason. I actually think that it's very cute the way you protected me, Mason. I like it. You know what I'm saying? And girl, I love girl. your hair. Oh, thank you. And it's did cute. Did you lose yourself? Of course I did. You can't tell? Look at them naps around the edges. No, I can't. Really? Anywho, it's Peruvian. Yes. I think it's a little bit of um, Mongolian. Oh my god. Mm, See? Can I feel it? Don't feel oh, yeah, like she hasn't huh? watched it lately. What well, this is new. You know what? You're Don't right. come for me, please. It is new. You know, I switch up my hair every it, time I step up. Kiko, enough. Please can you go make yourself busy and put them boxes in the box. I'm gonna bring that big ass box up here. No, I'm not. Kiko, I can't wait for you to like it now. Oh, oh that's my cute girl. Um, yeah. I think about it. If I'm not busy. Yeah, okay. busy with boxes. No. Yes, baby. Don't be rude. Goodbye. Uh, oh. Sorry. Kiko can be a bit <sighs> overwhelming sometimes. No, I actually think it's cute. She's more cool. Cool and cute? In the same sentence with <laughs> Kiko? Very, 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 very cute. Cool. Kiko is not cute. I don't know if you <laughs> didn't see that face in that girl. Well, how about you make yourself useful and you come help me with these boxes? No. Yes. I ain't gonna be a manual labor. Sweetheart, sweetheart. If you wanna be a top model, you gotta have strong limbs. Come on, let's go. Off to work. <sighs> oh, Lord, heavy family. Wow. I didn't know you had such ill feelings towards that family. I just don't like the situation around my birth and my upbringing. They're all cowards. I can see, and I've dealt with that family pretty intimately. <laughs> You don't say. And I can tell you, they don't respond well to brute force. It either has to be their way or they at least have to think it is. Trust me, I know. Okay. So then we need to play it cool then. Now, baby, you do know that you attract more bees with honey. And my son, he won't even lift a finger to get your own out. I'm not surprised, are you? So then you know what we have to do. We have to get together and get them out. Have a deal? Well, my money is a little slow right now, so we might have to figure out another way to do it. Okay. Listen carefully. We have to take matters into our own hands and get them out and do what we have to do now. So what do you have planned? Plus years later, and what, you're his direct connect? No. I was just trying to help, uh, being as though you just showed up on an ass. Huh. 
And actually, you know, we haven't seen you in a while. Have we? You know, you weren't even at the wedding. Hmm, I was surprised that you didn't make it. That's because I was off handling my business. But I'll explain that to him later. Okay. Well, again, I can call him. Or you can just sit there and have, have a little seat and wait. <laughs> what, you live here? Oh, God, no. Why would I embark on my son's newfound marriage? That's a heaven portrait, not Anderson. Listen, bitch, I was trying to be civil. But you will not stand here and try to tell me anything about my family just because you're walking around here making your real Kool-Aid and overcooked cotton grains. I see that you're still the same and rude and condescending as you were when you were a kid. And you know what? You took that trade out right after your mother. My mother? Yes, your mother. And you know what? It all makes sense after meeting your daughter. And now I know why she is the way that she is. So, so you met Raven and you think you can stand here and judge me? <laughs> this coming from a woman who bartered her son around like merchandise at a swap meet or a fucking flea market. How dare you? You don't know nothing. Oh, about me. but I do. I may have been just a little girl, but I have an amazing imagination. You almost destroyed my family and you caused my mother hell. Your mother and father had problems before I arrived. Yeah, they did. But you made matters worse. And you walking around here being in your girl's life, I know you're causing problems for him as well. But let me tell you something, Corinne. No matter what me and my brother may go through, I will always have his back. And if you hurt him, you know what they say. I'm my father's daughter. Don't you forget that. And I hope that you don't have any garlic in that shit you're cooking. Your girl is a virgin. Hey, Kiko. I didn't know you were still here. What's up, girl? I work here. Duh, what are you doing here? I'm just hanging out, you know, enjoying this little bit of time I get in the shop. Oh, it's not a shop. It's a mannequin well, factory. It's the same thing. No, no, it's not. Okay, fine. Anywho. Mannequin factory. Excuse me. That's, that's good. What are you doing here? Like, cool. Like, please tell me. What am I doing staying with Mason? Well, I came to this town because I want to be a model and I took a semester off from school just to pursue my career. And I know that Mason has all the connections and I know that you guys will be great in helping me. So mm. that's why I'm here. Me? Yeah, you too. Helping you? you you're definitely in this now. Just so you came to East then? We are homegirls. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, we're friends now. I don't even know you. Like, you can help me with my makeup. You can help me with... You are so fierce. Like, I know that... You, like, you're going to have me snatch in a minute. Hair, everything. Snatch down from head to toe. Yes. Because right now, you're looking a little blah. A little like you just... Do it. Let's do this little, Like, naturally beautiful. <laughs> blah. Because, you know, I don't need all that extra stuff. That was funny. Natural. Yeah, natural. Mm -hmm. First natural, you start natural over hair. hair. Natural hair. This your, yeah, this yes. your hair? This is my hair. Okay, bitch. I'm Back Michelle up, Obama don't there. touch it. This is my hair. I, this is mine. Okay, all me. Uh, okay, first of all, if you want to be in this mannequin factory, you just can't get up like this and just put on anything and you say your model. Your model. Me, I think I look good. Oh, uh, you do? Yeah. Oh, girl, sit back down. No, you know, you need help. Okay, first, when you get up in the morning, you need to just... I'm not eyelash. I don't know a lip. I'm a model. I'm supposed to be natural. I'm not gonna need like eyelashes or any of that stuff. What are you talking about? Enhance the beauty. Okay, well, my beauty doesn't need to be enhanced. I don't think so. I'm all you need. You locking in that department and just flat iron and brush your hair. You just get Kiko, up and shake. Why are you so shady? I just want to be like, I'm just trying to get to know you. Like, oh, really? Shady we're, is my we're best women. name. We don't need to be shading each other. We're just both beautiful. We can be fabulous oh. together, don't you think so? You need more to be in this fab lane. But anywho, I got my eye on you. If I was you, I'd be watching me too, so. <laughs> you better keep on watching. Oh no, nobody's not watching for you. First, stop that pussy up, and then I'll be looking for you. Stop that pussy up, 
Thanks for reaching out to me, Fallon. I think this is a really good first step for well, you. Well, I told you I would reach out to you when I got back from Europe, and I would like to thank you for all your help. Absolutely. Well, this is just the first step, and I look forward to your progress in the future. I think maybe you should consider coming in with your family members. <laughs> uh, maybe your mom. I no, know that sounds absolutely. crazy. I know. Baby steps, yeah? I'll think about it. That I can do. I can promise you that I'll think about it. All right. Okay, awesome. thank you, Dr. Chase. Thank you. Thank it's you. great to see you. You too, bye. Have a great day. I thought you were going to visit Jarrell. I am. I'm about to leave out now and go to the jail. Why, are you coming with me? No. Why not? Are you too good to go see him? <laughs> Mr. Davenport doesn't want to be seen in prison. Or is Jarrell is it just not worth the slight image blemish? Hell, maybe you need to go see him. Maybe it'll humble your spoiled ass. <sighs> you have some nerve. No, you do. I mean, you decided to join me, this is where it all started. Davenport Industries. Sorry, but I'm still a little shocked. One, to hear from you and to see you. Maybe you act like you haven't heard from me in years. That's what it feels like. I mean, before you left, you said we can build some type of relationship. I held up my end of the deal. You on the other hand. I receive every single phone call. I just never found the time to return them. But I'm here now. Why? Because you say you would never step foot in this family. Okay. That's what I said. But this is what my family is. This is what a company is. This is what everything is. Family. Yes, family. That means you too. You just call me your family? You are my family. We need to start acting as such. <laughs> no, <laughs> there's gotta be a catch. What's funny? <laughs> <laughs> there's no catch, Raven. I, but I did come here looking for answers. <laughs> what in the world is so funny? This is the same old Fallon. Cunning with a smile. Raven, I'm being serious. I bumped into that snake Corinne earlier and she mentioned you. What's her beef with you? That old troll got beef with herself. She thinks I have something to do with Jarrell getting locked up. Locked up for what? Jarrell didn't tell you? No. Of course he didn't. That man doesn't even care about his own brother. What is Jarrell in jail for? Attempted armed robbery and it's all Jabril's fault. Armed robbery? And how is Jabril's fault? You gonna let him ride in that place? You all are so self-centered and sickening. And just to think, I thought you were a little different. But I was wrong. You just like your father. Way more than you care to realize, buddy. Way more. Trust me, I am well aware of any traits that I got from him and you, for that matter. Now, when and where I choose to use them remains to be my decision. Look, I learned a lot of things the hard way and I try to prevent him from doing the same. Something you should have done. I don't even think you know the first thing about being here. What did you just say? How dare you? Look, look, so the next time you want to come through my door and reprimand me about Jarrell, you save it for yourself. Because I only have his best interest at heart. Now, whether you, him, or anybody else sees it is not really my concern. I don't give a flying fuck. Yeah, I know you don't. Because you think the world revolves around the Davenports. You can't even spare some sympathy from your cohort to go and see him. You know why he did not ask to see me? It's because he knows that I'm right. So I'm the last person that he wants to see at that jail. That's not true. He wants to see you. He needs to see you. Really? So all the times that you went up there to see him, Corinne, he actually asked for me? Or was it you bringing me up? He didn't even have me on the guest list until you told him to put me there. Exactly. That doesn't mean a thing. It means everything. Jarrell has a lot going on. And me coming up to the jail would only mess with him. And I'm 
not trying to do that. Me trying to come up there with only consoling in mind, he's going to think I'm coming guns blazing. Bro, you can make all the logic in your head you want. You need to go see him. Look, after I leave the job, I'm just going to have home. Works for me. I'm sure it does. Hello? No, he's not out yet. I know things are taking a little longer than I expected. Yes, another extension. Look, I have a plane. Okay, so I'll have your money soon. But if Jabril treated him like a real brother instead of a stepchild, Jarrell wouldn't be in this mess. All he wanted was a little help. A little help? A little help with what? Just something to get on his feet? Jabril got all this money but can't lend him one cent? It's always about money with you, Raina. Are you sure you didn't do anything to help Jarrell land in jail? Of course, everyone is going to accuse me, but no, I had nothing to do with it. You know, Raven, I'm not accusing you of anything. Look, Jarrell just got mixed up with the wrong people. If anybody knows the feeling, it's me. Out here trying to hustle and make moves just to make a living. Hustle? Aren't you trying to go from one bad experience to the next, Raven? I mean, Fallon, if you could help me, just loan me a little money until I'm able to get a new job. No. I am not your personal ATM machine. No. You know what? That's just what I expected anyway. Mm -hmm. And it's all right because I've been doing for myself anyhow. Thanks for the invite. Raven, where are you going? I wasn't done talking. Look, I gotta find somewhere to stay. I've been homeless this whole time. Homeless? What about the apartment Tessa put you in? What about it? That money dried up a long time ago. Gotta make moves for myself. You know what? Well, this really doesn't make any sense. I, I don't I don't understand you. I'm gonna give you some money. Do what you need to do and don't ask me again. Because this will be the last time. Five G's, Father? Yes. I am still your mother. And I care about you. And I want you to be safe. When are you going to show me that you're going to be a stand-up woman and take care of yourself? I guess. Thank you. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Did I buy your gesture? I wouldn't be totally opposed to it. Yeah. <laughs> so there's two share. I'm sure it is. Hey, I heard about your uncle. I'm sorry. I know how close you guys are. Thank you. Yeah, it's been rough, but his family's taking it day by day. So how long are you in town for? I haven't seen you in a while. Figured to be some hot shot art dealer by now. I still dabble. It's actually one of the reasons I'm still in town. For a little while. Yeah? Do tell. My uncle wanted his remaining art collection auctioned off and donated to charity, so I'm in town putting together an auction. Very philanthropic of him. He loved the art preservations, so I'm working on having his uh, profits donated to charities and art shows. Sounds like a big deal. Make sure you get my invitation, huh? Of course. Let me know if you need any help while you're here. I could show you around. Thank you. I actually have that part covered, though. Oh, my uncle was pretty close to someone in town. He's actually pretty well known, J. Real Davenport. <gasps> um, I don't know if you know about him. Yeah, I, I mean, yes. Who doesn't know of the Davenports? Well, I sent you a wedding gift. Yes, you did. We really enjoy the couple. But, you know, we 
wanted to send you a thank you card, but uh, I have no address to do. Okay, I get it, bro. I get it. Get mad because I missed your way. I'm sorry. You're not sorry. You dealt with what you wanted to deal with. Business. That was it. How long are you here for? Mm-hmm. Well, it depends. I may be here for a while. I may or may not be entertaining the suitor as well. So, wait. You have time to find a man? <laughs> how, 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 does, how does that happen? Well, I have needs just like everybody else. You're right. You do. You're entitled to those needs, but you don't think you should take care of family, personal life first? Mm-hmm. How, how's Raven? Have you even talked to her since you were gone? Since I was gone, no, but I've spoken to her since I've been back and she and I are fine. So you wanted so bad to know that this girl was your daughter and then you just blow her off when you found out. I didn't blow her off. She understands that I am busy and besides, my life wasn't going to stop because I found that I had a grown child. She can take care of herself. Can she? Yes, she can. Oh, I guess you know way more than I do. Jabril, she's fine. You think so? Have you heard any good news about JJ? No. Same. Don't know where he is. And even Victor are missing in action. So. Yeah. Well, I'm sure he'll be okay. You'll find him. You don't even care. You're not even concerned. You were supposed to be helping me do that. And what? You just forgot all about it. But it's okay. I, I got you know, Of course I'm concerned. When I heard about the shooting and that poor guy falling off of the balcony, I was scared half to death. So why didn't you call and check on us? Or you didn't return my call after it happened. Jabril, I saw the news reports and I knew that all you guys were okay. And besides, when you were calling me, I thought you were calling me to tell me that you were leaving the company. <laughs> By this time, I wouldn't blame you. So you thought I would have just left after such traumatizing events just happened. But what happened? You must know. I told Dad early that evening I was done. Now it's just under wraps until this blows over. <laughs> and that bitch cat, and now she wants a divorce. I tried to tell you all about that bitch, but no. You didn't want to listen to me as if we need more publicity. That divorce had been set up months before that. What do you think, that everybody just up and jump shit? All at the same time, turn it back on the family? Don't you sit here and act like this family won't ask you the moment that you get in their way in the heartbeat. That, that is true. You know what, Jabril? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna have a cocktail. See you when I come back to say goodbye. You know what? Europe just might be the best place for you. There is so much going on. Yeah, I see that. Easton is still the same. <laughs> but like I said, I'll come see you. Um, Good night. Good night. Good night. Uh, I think it's pronounced Jabril. How did you get connected with him anyway? I, I read he was out directing finances and portfolios and, you know, CEO stuff. Well, him and my uncle were actually pretty close, so he listed me and Jabril as main caretakers for his art collection. That seems odd. Yeah, I was pretty surprised too, but I'm more excited just to work with him. I mean, I think he can learn something. I'm sure you can. Alright, enough about me. So what's been going on with you? Uh, things are good. I was traveling a lot with my clients, but recently I've been getting a lot of work here, so. Oh, that's great. So, any old flames I should worry about? Like it would matter. When did that stop us from dipping back into the X pool? You're right. So, Dad still talks about you a lot. You know, I'm sure he does. Once upon a time, I was the only stable thing in your life. Too bad your uncle didn't seem to think so. Sorry. Talk ill of the dead. He had his reasons. There you go, still defending him for that. Yeah, let's not get into this again. It's in the past now. Alright. Um, so... You're single. And I'm single. (laughs) Do you wanna... Hang? 
Sure. Nothing wrong with it. Hang it. Up, okay? Yeah, sure. Take your time. I'll get us another round of drinks. Caddy sarcasm. I mean, you don't have to be so uptight and bothered. You could smile a little bit. I'm sorry if my demeanor doesn't sit with you well. You may actually have real problems, you know, like Rob, my birth mom. Am I missing something? Yeah, and if you take your head out of your ass, you might notice a few things. How quickly you forgot I saved your ass. Right, am I better off? Wait, is Jarrell better off? <laughs> right, we know the answer to that. Derek, I'm working on that. Mm, how? What money? No help. Jabril is letting him rot in jail. Hmm. Well, Fallon gave me five G's. It's not much, but it's a start. Oh, Cruella has a heart? Barely. I thought I was homeless, so she gave it to me. There's still not enough money to bail him out. But it'll help in the meantime. Look, right now, I need a place to stay so I can no, get myself together, stay on my feet. Are you asking me? Derek, don't make me bet. I split the portion of the money with you. Come on, we both broke. All right, but in one condition. You giving me rules? No rules. It's a promise. Like, once we get your roll out, we stop on our shit. We gonna make an effort to be a better person. No robbing. No drugs, no stealing, no schemes. Them nothing. drugs is all you. But I get it. I'm serious. Alright, what else? If you don't, find somewhere else to go. Fine, Eric. It'll be a challenge, but I'll do it. I agree. So... How long have you been caring for me? It's been six months now. Six months and nobody has came. So, how did I even get here? We've been over this. They brought you here from the hospital because nobody claimed you. You were gonna be okay. You're gonna get better. You're gonna get out of here. Right, so when can I get better? When can I get out of here? When can I go to therapy? It's not an easy process. It's slow. You're going to have to do it for a long time. You're going to have to do the therapy until you get better. And that's not going to be fast. You need to understand that. You need to accept that. Okay? Look, I'm tired of laying in this bed and just sleeping all day. Because, I mean, I'm fine. And sleeping is not helping anything. I'm ready to go out and start... Braxton. Do you trust me? I don't know, like, are you the only person here? Like, I haven't seen any nurses or... This is good for tonight, okay? You need to get some rest. We'll work on physical therapy tomorrow, and you're gonna get better. I'm saying, don't okay, am I the only patient here, or...? Yes, you are the only patient here. I'm the one in charge 
of you. Okay. Everything is going to be okay. You need to listen to me. So why am I the only one here? Where are the rest of the patients at? The rest of them got better because they listened to me. Have a good night, Bryce. So am I the only patient who hasn't died yet? I mean, am I here just to wait till I die? Or because you can tell me if I'm Bryce, gonna you die are or not going to die. You're going to be okay. You are okay. Okay, if I'm okay, let's let me leave then since I'm okay. Can you walk down by yourself? Then get some rest. Have a good night. Jabru. Yeah. Why does it look like we're going into that room? Okay, what's the problem? Guess who just left here not too long ago? Who? Fallon. What? Since when? She's back? I guess she got back within the last day or so, who knows? Okay, so... What happened? How is she doing? She's fine, I guess. Still the same. Jumping back and forth between accountability and delusion. That sounds about right. So, did you tell her about Julian? No. Why not? Because I thought some time away would get her grounded a little more within herself. But I was wrong because she goes there and finds another man. I just don't get it. How do you have time to find a man when you're supposed to be so busy building a business? Chipper, let her be. She's fine. Let her manage her own priorities. And I was just about to tell her about Julian. But then I thought, why am I going to subject him to the same neglect that Raven is getting? I think you still should have told her. I am. She just pissed me off. These women and their children, I just don't get it. It's not for you to get. Well... You should tell Corinne because she wants it to be my fault. Jarrell is in his current predicament. <laughs> Jarrell is a grown man. Uh, he made his own decisions. Exactly. But I still think you should have helped him. But I understand and I support your decision. <sighs> I'm staying out of it. Okay, Jarrell. <sighs> Look, I'm about to go to Mason's house for a little while. In and out? Yeah, I just came to my bag off. <sighs> Wait, how was your first day at the office? Actually, it was pretty good. I had to go over some formalities and paperwork. Hmm. Um, oh, before I forget, I met with Alex today. Um, I'll tell you the rest of the story when we get back. But he is looking for an apartment. And I said, maybe you can help him. Okay. My boss would really like that. New, new prospects. Just send me over his information. All right, I'll see you when you get back. All right, babe. Won't be long. You know, this is what I miss. Just a nice, quiet Friday night watching the movies. I know, we never get to do this together. We should do this every Friday. This should be like our thing. Mm, yeah, but I can't believe I'm actually drinking with you. Sibling bonding. Yeah, with liquor and wild. You're really yes, getting old. Liquor. I'm not old, please. I'm young and fresh. <sighs> Too fresh? Real fresh. Oh, God. <laughs> please, I don't want to hear extra anything. Extra fresh. No, not extra fresh. <laughs> Just be regular. Be regular. <laughs> oh, God. I think I need more. I really like Kiko. Do you? Yes, I think we're going to be great friends. I think she's probably going to be my only friend in this town when I'm, while I'm here. Kiko and you friends? She's like that annoying monkey that used to be on Michael Jackson's shoulders. Wow. Well, I'm like the annoying other monkey, so I think we're going to look great. Oh, great. Two orangutans walking around Easton. Huh. Not ready for that. So tell me, what's going on with the love life? 
love life? No. <laughs> there is, is there no love life? life. No. <laughs> My love life is completely non-existent. Why? Weren't you dating that um, Jesus guy? <sighs> Jesus. What happened to him? Well, let's just say our family is like the Huxtables and they're like the Sopranos. We just don't mix. So what, you weren't feeling it? It was a lot of things that I wasn't feeling, but it's just really complicated. I loved him, but I just wasn't in love with his immature ways. I need a man. I don't got time to raise and build bears. I need a man too. Do you know where to find one? You don't need no man. You need to finish school. I need a real man. I need a big, tall, six feet, five, chocolate, sexy. Excuse me. With nice teeth guy. So you're having sex? <laughs> What do you think? I'm a virgin? Oh my god. I don't want to think about it. How much sex are you having? Well, I mean, I was dating in the sky, but it didn't work out. Why? I never heard about this guy. It was for a few months, and it just didn't work out. You know, I'm young. I want to explore. Please. My options, you know? Just make sure that I don't have any more nieces and nephews coming. No time soon. You don't have to finish school, that. please. I'm not worried about finishing school right now, Mason. I am worried about my career as a model, okay? Uh, you need something to fall back on. No. You can't just rely on being a model. I can fall back on school later and I can think about modeling now, okay? Can you just promise me this? We're supposed to be enjoying ourselves now. We are enjoying ourselves, but you have to listen. You can't always be so combative. Uh, Look, but if you're going to be a model, fine. I'll try to help you, but you have to finish school. I'm going to finish school, Mason. No, you're not I'm going to finish. Really. You're going to finish this semester, okay? I'm not going to finish this semester. I'm going to stay with you this semester, and then I'll think about going back after you help me. How about that? Is that a deal? Uh, how about this? It's time to go. What if I become a supermodel? You it's never time know. to go to bed. You could dream about being a supermodel upstairs. Come on. Go to bed. No more drinking for you, young lady. <sighs> I love you, but I'm waiting for Kiko. I love you too. Brandon to come. Give me love. Give me love. Come love, 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 love. Love, love. Okay. Oh. <sighs> and Vicky. I've been calling you all day. The drops went well. I'm waiting on Lewis to contact me back from Philly, see if this drop went all right, but if he doesn't contact me by tonight, Lewis and I are heading over there personally. You wanna come? And Vicky, are you listening to me? No. I'm not, talking to you. Not now, you Jesus. Look, I appointed you man as shit for a reason, okay? I need you to man the fuck up and handle it. I don't have to shadow your every move. I'm not your mother. I know you're not my mother. What the fuck is wrong with you? Why are you talking to me like Look, that? Look, I've had a really fucked up day, all right? Whatever it is, could, please, can you just handle it? I, I need you to just take care of business. Handle it. Okay. But Aunt Vicky, you're shaking. What's wrong? Talk to me. It's not that simple. It... If I speak about it, if I say the words out loud, it becomes real. And... I, I can't have it be real, not in my wildest dreams. Did I ever think that this moment would be real. This is not supposed to happen. I don't know how he found me, Jesus. I don't know how he found me. This was never supposed to happen. I, I planned better than this. I thought I planned better. Ooh, listen, you need to talk to me. If it's a threat, I'll handle it. Let me know, who is it? I wish it was that simple. We would be able to handle it, it's not. It can be that simple. Jesus. The baby boy that I birthed, that I had to give away, he found me. He was here. I saw him. I heard him. He was here on my doorstep. He found me. I don't know how he found me. I don't know where he was, how he got my picture, how he got my information. This wasn't supposed to happen this way. How Do you know what this means? How did he show up here? I don't know. I don't know how Where he found he now? me. Where is he now? Jesus, I don't know, but he came here. And he, he swears he knows that I'm his mother, but I 
I denied it and I denied it and I kept just pushing him away, letting him know it's not me, but he, he pushes me the way you do and I, I know it's not gonna be as simple as I need it to be. He's, he's gonna come back. He's gonna, Why? he's gonna come back. Why, Vicky? Why is Because he come he's back? a fucking DeLuca. Jesus, he has our blood running through his veins. He's not gonna make it simple. He, he's gonna be relentless, I'm telling you. He, he's gonna be back. He's gonna come back. He'll be back. <laughs> Mason, I'm here! Excuse me? What? Why are you Why are you so loud? Yeah, we just walked up in here. Keep going, be quiet, dude. He gets comfortable. See? I told you get comfortable. Excuse me, y'all are both loud. <laughs> Wow. Why are we laughing? She could walk in here with these size 16 heels and uh, you come in here all laughing. Why are you telling us to be quiet? You know, right? Because Melanie is upstairs. My girl here, what's up? No, she's sleeping. We just had a little brother and sister. Your girl, my girl. Yes. You know you, my girl. I don't know. Playing, but it's Excuse me. You're not his girl. No, Stop it. She's my girl. The best friend only. <sighs> Whatever. Get it. You know it. But it, okay, I'm going to be. Honest, what's your sister's name? Melissa? You know her name, Melanie. Well, same thing, I said it M. I'm kind of like jello of her. Jello? This is juice. Did I say wine? Juice. What you mean jello? Like jello that you eat? No, I, I bet you would think that. No, I'm talking about I'm jealous. Jealous of what? Jealous of what, Kiko? She's taking my spot, my plate. Kiko, listen, there's plenty of room left in the zoo for you, boo. You're the only chimpanzee I'm gonna allow on my shoulder, don't worry. I am serious. It's only supposed to be me and you up in a mannequin factory. Well, that would be me, you, and Melanie, too. Uh, I guess. I give her a thought. I give her a thought. Listen, well, listen. I, I, I got some even more horrific news. What? Horrific? What can get more horrific than Kiko's hair? Corinne uh, and Fallon showing up at my doorstep. Oh, wait. This is going to be good. What, what happened? Yes. Um, Corinne showed up for Jarrell and... Violence. Wait, for Jarrell, what's for Violence? Jarrell? Yeah. He going through some, some little issues, some legal problems. But listen, Violence just pops up. She, she just popping up out of nowhere, just coming up, just coming back. Like, she just come back. What? She, she came she, back? Like, she, back to Ethan? Yeah, like, on my doorstep. She was there. From where? I think she was in Europe or something. She yeah, was somewhere overseas. Oh. What's she wanted? Yeah. And, um, hold on. Not only. And then it's this Julian. Julian. Who's Jul that? Who's Julian? He's... He's somebody that Jabril works with. What? Y'all are newlyweds. Why is another man living in a household with y'all two? Don't is he gay or straight? Derek. Right. He's staying with us for a little while. Oh, How is it a mess to me? I think I need to scope this out. I just don't want to deal with Jabril. Crazy family, ugh. Well, you sign on the dollar line, you're down for now. That's just why my last name is not DeLuca. Ooh. Speaking of which, um... What? Well... I had a coffee date this morning with Jesus. Uh, you did not tell me? She, well, we got busy at the factory. I didn't get a chance to tell you. Busy like how? Put in juice to tell. Busy like how? Like clients. Clients. We, we have celebrity clients. Oh, okay. Right I the, you wouldn't know. Mine's in the gutter. Like I like the beauty bar. He was... Anyway. <sighs> Thank you. I saw Jesus. I, and up, did you kiss him? Yeah. No. I wanted to, though. He got a new haircut. He was dressing so nice. He smelled good. Ooh, he's taking over the business. Uh, that's the problem. I don't want to get back with him as long as he's in the business. Um, that's money. Kiko, haven't you learned money and everything? I know I did. But I'm just saying, you can be stable with having some money coming in in your pockets. <sighs> I'm not stable else. with mafia money. I wasn't stable with Adonis neither. And ever since he popped up at the wedding, now I keep having these mixed feelings about him too. You so what is going to be? A Jesus or Adonis? You just keep on going back and forth. I do. At one time, I did love Adonis. I still care about him, but the way he left, I'm not going back there. Ugh. It's going to be okay. Yeah, it really is. You know, I miss the beauty bar. Me too. We had so many good memories. And why this could be one? Why are you still... What, you won't just drink off my drink? Wasn't your mouth on Sean? Who, who was that? I don't remember that person. I'm sorry. That name is dead to me. Well, it wasn't dead when I caught y'all on camera in a beauty bar when you was 
with them braids and that whipped cream. Uh, Ugh. Okay. Well, at least we don't got to do with Brandon not showing up to work. I know, and not doing nothing and leaving all the work to us. Hmm. What's wrong with you? <laughs> it's just that the, the beauty bond just broke back. I just miss my mom so much. Oh. I just miss my mom so much, man. I feel like it's, I'm dying inside. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. I know that you're going to have your moments where you feel alone and empty. Your you mom meant the most. Your mom meant everything to you. Me as well. But you got us. And you got Jabril and the Davenports and Melanie's here. So... You got a lot of things to keep you cheered up. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be alright. It's, it's gonna take one step at a time. I just miss it so much. Best friend. something to drink? No, I'm, I'm fine. So, what are you doing here? You made it perfectly clear after the last time you were done escorting and you were done with me. Well, that part is true. I'm done escorting, but... But what, Jacob? <sighs> but what, Jacob? But what? I, I got something to do. Derek. What? My name is Derek. 